Weather Authority Forecast is brought to you by Dorset Automotive. The Dorset difference, 150,000 mile powertrain coverage and brakes for life on all certified pre-owned. Now, your local weather authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. Ah, turn those clocks back one hour before you go to bed. Fall back one hour. You can sleep in a little bit tomorrow. Of course, we'll lose that in the springtime. If you want to check something out that's pretty neat, there's the blue moon. That's the second full moon in the same month. I mean, this one fell on Halloween. Pretty good picture. That's live from our... Uh, Graber Post Buildings weather cam atop the Sycamore Building downtown. We have clear skies right now. Won't see another one of these on Halloween anyway until 2039. So, a little facts there for you. Going to be a cool, breezy night. When's it going to pick up during the overnight? That's one of the things we're tracking. Breezy weekend, lots of sun, warming up big next week. Right now in Terre Haute, 48. Dew points dropped to 38. Wind chill. Feels like 45 with that south breeze and the pressure's falling from 30.05. We finished the month a little bit shy of the average of 3.35, just under 3 inches. We're flipping the pattern next week. No rain. Going to warm up. Still a moderate drought here, Terre Haute and south, then on up to the north, dry elsewhere. Lows 35 over at Mattoon, 32 pairs, 30 at Terre Haute, 28 at Robinson. We'll be a little bit warmer than that by several, well, actually several degrees warmer than that. Lots of 60s today, including Terre Haute at 60. Oh, Effingham checked in at 61. Bloomington at 60. And Timps right now, north to south, Paris at 52. And it's 51 in Bloomington, 51 at Vincennes, and a 50 at uh, Newton. Winds coming in out of the south. He's going to pick up in gust to 25. Uh, so hang on to your hat. Doesn't feel like much cooler than the air tent. Tomorrow, maybe you notice it a little bit. Metro views you head out, we still have the clear skies for the time being. So it looks good during the overnight hours. That means some sunshine tomorrow. And then a really chilly start to the week on Monday. There, big picture. Look at this, hardly anything going on. Next week, jet stream goes well to the north. So all the storm action will stay in the northwest and in Canada. It's going to be warm. Well, well above normal. In fact, we'll have some days in the 70s. Closer to home, you can see just a few clouds out there. Still think we'll go partly cloudy in the south half tonight. Future cast shows that. Really some clouds rolling through and not a whole lot going on elsewhere. I don't think we'll see anything in the way of rainfall out there. Now, the big news, of course, is the warm-up. We had that cool snap there in October. Now the jet stream's going to lift well to the north, so we're not going to have much in the way of stormy weather or cold weather at all, and certainly some dry weather as well. Most of the storm action, any precip will stay well to the north. The entire contiguous 48 could see a very dry week coming up. Give everybody a chance to dry out, especially those southern states where you had all the rain from the hurricane. Now, there's the cold air, that gray shading from Monday morning, then temps moderate. Back into that darker green shading there, there's some 70s on the way, at least one or two days where that could happen. 43 to 9 under partly cloudy skies, winds will pick up overnight and gust to 25. Then tomorrow, 45 for the high. Cool day, breezy, lots of sun. Look at that northwest wind, gust to 40, so it'll feel a little cooler than that air temp. Now, look ahead. Tuesday, Election Day, beautiful, sunny, 63. We just keep getting warmer. By Friday, we'll probably hit the 70 mark somewhere. Abundant amounts of sunshine then. And look at next Saturday, 71 for the high with a lot of sunshine. Omar, if you have outdoor sports, you're going to be loving that day.